So, first of all, there is the Inkscape blog that has monthly updates on the GTK4 port progress. And if we go to the latest blog post, except from the usual technical updates like some work on the shortcuts, we have two actual great news. Most important of all, is that we can now build and run the GTK4 port. Which leads us to the second great thing, since Inkscape GTK4 build can now run, it's almost ready to merge it on the main branch. Almost, because there are a couple of problems that they need to resolve first. And there is already an issue that tracks all the remaining bits before the transition. But I have absolutely no idea how much time that may takes. I just hope it won't be long. A few months maybe? Anyway, I've made a system build, not sure if there's a flat pack somewhere for everyone to test it, and here we go. Startup screen and pretty much everything is identical to GTK3, so we can select our canvas and shortcut settings together with the icons and app color schemes. Um, time to draw, and let's start fresh with a new document. Okay, let's check on the GTK inspector, just to make sure we use GTK4. And most specifically, it's version 4.13. So, menus. Um, basically I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to show you. So let's do basics and draw a cube perhaps? Meanwhile the interface and the toolbars are exactly on the same places like before, but I anticipate that there will be quite some changes in the final release. Um, let's make the corners rounded to fit GNOME better, right? And I bet everyone who has used Inkscape at some point has also googled how we do round corners in Inkscape. It's embarrassing. But I can tell you that once I was one of the biggest haters of Inkscape UI, but I recently realized how convenient and fast to use this interface actually is, like these super ugly yet super functional stacked panels on the right. Um, let's give it some stroke, and I believe all of these lines you see are drawn with Cairo, so I'm not quite sure how efficiently use the GPU. The point is, there shouldn't be like a huge performance boost just because of the toolkit update I guess. Oh. An issue I have I forgot to tell you about is that inputs can't grab focus. For example, I can't type on the text box, it kinda translates keystrokes like application shortcuts. But I can handwrite with the pencil. Well, this isn't exactly the pencil, but I was close enough. Okay, got it. Hello? From... GTK4 Select everything and export selection. Which I wasn't expecting to work. But it does indeed. In fact, that grub focus issue aside most of the things do work already. It's pretty impressive considering the size of the project isn't it? Just an overwrite because I had exported something before with the same name. And all done. See? And now let's talk about GIMP. So GIMP, if you're listening, hear this.